So, about being in the forest, <laughs> what's, uh, uh, what's the idea behind the, the witch hunt movie? The film. In the film, yeah. yeah. I th the basic idea was to do like an artwork, yeah, uh -huh. and uh, to do like something that picks up on that debate, yeah, and produces, I would say, sort of a, a fictional narrative, yeah, that uh, sort of connects like a number of other dots, yeah, where of course like the conference is a starting point or maybe not even the conference, but some of the, like that text by Baudrillard, yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, sort of this sort of rant as ecology being a ploy, yeah, and, uh, but then uh, sort of bringing something in, in that fold that literally did not play into the conference at all, yeah, which was uh, the actual surrounds, yeah, the ecology of the actual place mm -hmm. where the whole thing happened, yeah, and uh, that particular tree that gives the, the conference and the place its name, yeah, and then what I was interested in was basically to sort of like offer a narrative, yeah, of a group of people who are not necessarily like identified with with those people who were at the conference. Yeah, they wear contemporary clothes. Yeah, mm -hmm. they sort of uh, even if they sort of read that text, they're not French. Yeah, they're not at the conference site itself. They're like somewhere in the forest. Yeah, and they sort of wander around. Yeah, and you don't quite know where they're going or where they're coming from. Yeah, they they never enter a forest or leave the forest. Yeah, you never see. The sky, you can never orient yourself you know, in, uh, in the whole film. Yeah. And then uh, they sort of, there's this one scene where they practice the, the text, yeah, where you don't quite know have they written it, but then probably not because they're trying to understand what it actually means. Yeah. So they're performing it. Yeah. And there's a lot of historical distance of the moment you start performing, yeah, of course. Yeah. But then also, like the, the that absurdity of sort of the panel in the woods, yeah, sort of like speaking to the forest, yeah, and sort of sort of reading to the forest almost, yeah. And I mean, of course, there's like references that I sort of picked up on, like the sort of last scene in Fahrenheit 411, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember that, where these people walk around and everyone is a book and sort of speaks that book, yeah, or and this other reference, uh, which is a little vignette by Jean-Luc Godard uh, called All About Eve, where like a, a camera team follows uh, a young woman in a sort of white hippie dress mm -hmm. and interview her about being a revolutionary. Yeah? And she sort of just keeps walking around the forest and sort of the camera also is, tries to sort of catch up. Yeah, And you see the guys with the microphone and it sort of as a whole crew, yeah, uh, and uh, that being sort of in a, there was like part of uh, Godard's One Plus One, mm -hmm. Sympathy for the Devil film, that sort of edited against these Black Panther shots where they read like a political statement mm -hmm. you know, in a junkyard, in a car junkyard, yeah. So there were like references like that in there, yeah. And, but then like the key player, in the film, of course, is the forest, yeah. and sort of these very formal studies, yeah, of like leaves and how the light changes on the leaves, yeah. They all have to do with sort of making visible aspects of the ecology of the aspen tree, yeah, where uh, sort of you see the the leaves quaking very quickly, yeah, and it's like something. It's very particular to that tree, and they do that because at these high altitudes where they grow, they have a very short growing season, yeah, and so they have to make, they have to be very efficient about photosynthesis, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they uh, sort of develop basically a way to let as much light as possible sort of into the core of the tree, yeah, 
to the ground as a forest, yeah, that these leaves are engineered to, to move with the slightest air movement, yeah, and that produces a, that quaking, yeah, and of course it's a sort of nice metaphor for transparency, yeah, for mm -hmm. sort of light, light coming into where it's usually dark, and so, yeah. but then that quaking also produces a speaking sound. If you look at the film, there's like after they sit down at the and read the paper on the table, yeah. So the next shot is this really loud sort of forest sound, yeah. And it's almost like sort of this call and response yeah. thing, yeah. But then there's also uh, these sort of finer formal structures in the leaves, yeah, that you have like these geometric proportions in how the veins are structured. And I mean, those are like details I was sort of fascinated by, and sort of didn't want to like point out like with a finger oh, here, look at this or so. But it is, it's something that structures the whole show. Yeah, the proportion, like how the leaf is proportioned. Yeah, is basically the sort of a mathematical key to how everything in the show is sort of laid out. Yeah. Brings together modernism with the whole panel discussion and, and sort of nature and uh, an abstraction, yeah, sort of like the form and the formless, supposedly, yeah. Or is like the appropriation of the leaf, right, to kind of structure this environmentalist movement? But is it, I mean, in terms of bringing the conference then to the forest and having the forest respond, you know, back, um, do you think that's something that was missing from this conference from the original movement that people are using kind of nature as their symbol, you know, mm -hmm. to frame this anti-movement, mm -hmm. but not really engaging with nature like on a deep level like you mm -hmm. would in the film. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, that was the, the thing that was conspicuously absent, yeah, from also all the papers, yeah, at the conference, yeah. If you go through the actual lectures that were delivered, like, there's not a single one that actually speaks about nature, yeah, mm -hmm. with quotation marks, yeah. Uh, but the, yet again, like, the theme was, it wasn't like nature or ecology, it was like environment by design, yeah, mm -hmm. which as a term already sort of is a corporatization mm -hmm. of, uh, of nature, yeah, it's sort of, it's like the, the French garden, <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. So I've been in the gallery when the projector was off, but the sound was still on, uh -huh. and it's pretty spooky at night. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've not the sounds of it. the forest, like that. Yeah. And I, I, I don't know where it was coming from. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. yeah, it is. I mean, that was like at the opening that really got lost. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the sound of it. Yeah, because yeah. it's you need like a really good sort of quiet environment. Yeah. And that was like one of the most stunning things, yeah, also filming that, yeah, mm -hmm. in that forest, yeah, and like how sort of spooky it was, yeah. Um, yeah. When I was mean, that the, done? When? When, yeah, when was that uh, Last summer, yeah, like okay. 2018 or something, yeah. There was even during the shooting, there was like a bear walking yeah. onto the set. <laughs> it's just sort of funny, yeah. Uh, onto the set. It's funny you call it set. Uh, yeah. I mean, with all that yeah. junk yeah, <laughs> that we had in there, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, because it was, it was a very strenuous production, yeah, because it's like the, the shots, yeah, they're very particular in how they're set up, yeah, where sort of, it's almost like a, a vocabulary of uh, sort of moving shots, yeah, where you have like, sort of, camera moves in one direction, people walk across the camera movement, yeah, and sort of the geometry of the setups, yeah, they're sort of quite carefully calibrated, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, we ended up needing a lot of equipment yeah, to actually do that, yeah, and carrying that into the forest, yeah, sort of like a 45 minutes to where we were actually filming. It's quite strenuous, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>